Hello and welcome back to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. This video is in response to a subscriber question that I had regarding how to use the Microsoft Whiteboard using notes and images and text. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to subscribe for more tips, go ahead and do so and share with colleagues that might benefit from this information. Okay, let's take a look at how we can effectively work with notes, images, and text in the Microsoft Whiteboard. This is very handy for teaching, obviously. So I'm going to start off by creating a little note grid and keeping with the theme that I seem to be doing on all of these uh, videos here is I'll go into the note grid and we'll make this a hiking trip. So we're going to plan out a hiking trip. And what I want to do is I've got this note grid in here. I'm going to add in some individual notes. So we'll just throw in three blank individual notes in here. We'll throw those in there as well. And let's grab some images. I'll grab a couple images from Bing. Let's grab an image of a backpack. We'll go backpack. It'll do Creative Commons only. So I'll grab this backpack. We'll put that in there. And then I'll grab another image from Bing. And we'll grab, let's say, a hiking water bottle. So we'll do a hiking water bottle. Grab this fellow in there. And oh, even get a weight with it. Don't carry extra weight when you're hiking. And then I'll grab another image and I'll just grab that from my library. So I can grab an image from my library. And you can actually browse. I'll just go to the desktop here and I have a little map that I've got in here. This is a map of the North Coast Trail. So I can uh, move around. I can scroll around and put everything where I want. So, so what do I want to show you here? Well, let's say I want to add some text. And this actually comes from the subscriber question that I had. So I want to add some text in here. If, if I click on text, I can type whatever I want. So let's say I want to say uh, um, carry. These are things that we're going to carry. And so I say, okay, well, I want to take a backpack, put that onto a sticky note, can even adjust the size of the image. And we know that we have to carry the backpack. So now I've created a nice little sticky note. And then I might want to put another text in there that says map. So you can notice that I can put the map, if I click on it, I can move it around on top of the map, or I can just drag the map onto a sticky note, drag the map onto a sticky note, and we'll put map on there. And then finally, we can drag our water bottle onto a sticky note, and I can do text and I can say something like hydration. I was going to say drink, but we'll do hydration, which is a fancy word for drink. Okay, so we'll put that in there and we'll do hydration. So now I've got these notes in here. I'm just going to scroll out a little bit so that everything appears on the screen. The other thing you can do is if I do text and I type in something like uh, safety, so I want to do something safety and I want to create a note for that. If I drag this text up to the note grid, notice it converts it directly into a new note. So I drag it up there, it creates a new note. And if I go in and grab my pens and choose my lasso, and if I grab this set of objects, the backpack, the text that says carry, and the note, and I drag that to the note grid, notice it doesn't want to go onto the note grid because it's a group of objects. Whereas if I grab the carry, well, oh, grab this out here. If I grab the text that said carry, I could put carry there. And then I could grab the image, which is the backpack, and I can drop that on there as well. Grab the, ah, come here. Grab the image, and we can drag it on there. Notice it won't allow me to put the images on the note grid. So that's a bit of a gotcha when it comes to the note grid that you can't drag images on there. And if I go into the note grid, notice that you can change the background color and such, but you'll notice that I do not have the ability in the note grid to add images. So again, and now I can't take this carry out of here, by the way, I have to actually go in if I want to and create a brand new text here and well, almost put in the note grid, but I can drag it over here. So it's a bit of a gotcha because with the note grid, of course, I can move this over here, but I could rearrange all of these by using the lasso. So I grab the lasso so I can drag all these objects and I can rearrange them all around. So grab the lasso, grab them, treat them like an object, move them around, and just takes a little bit of practice to get used to doing this. And now I can create sort of my own little grid of the different things that I want to do, being aware that this note grid can actually cause me a little bit of grief when it comes to images and such. So something to bear in mind. Hope that was useful for you. It's a very quick video on using text 
images and uh, notes in the Microsoft whiteboard. Thank you once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share it out, and here's some more videos that you can take a look at.